Hello, class here, Hollow Knight. In the last part, um, the banker disappeared, and we got one of the three um, guys. Oh yeah, I didn't have money for the Thog Canyon map. We did find the map guy. Anyway, since we have double jump, and there's still places to explore with double jump, such as that upward path near Mantis Village, possibly also that leftward path, possibly that leftward path, possibly that rightward path. Um, yeah, we're just, we're just going back to exploration mode. We've made a lot of progress the last two parts. And... Now we're once again faced with many pads. Let's see. I don't really want to go that way. Because that was a challenge to get a thing. And I'd rather not do it backwards when I can easily go around through this room. Yeah, we have acid swimming. Acid swimming, double jump. And I guess I didn't get a power last time. But two powers in the last three episodes, I believe. Pretty good. Wait. This is confirmed as not being a pathway, by the way. So I wonder if the place where I said we could go around doesn't even lead to anywhere I want to be. Oh! Okay, so that explodes when hit from the back, I guess? And when killed? Sure. Fair. Oh yeah, I have the magnets! I don't need to actually consciously collect things. Alright, double jump used. We're in new stuff. Fungal core. I think we've seen that enemy type before. Turned out that it's not a big deal if you just aggressively attack it. I guess it helps that I have... What? Two nail upgrades? I keep trying to actually collect the money. Although, maybe the magnet only has a limited range. I might need to, like, collect it somewhat. Get, like, moderately close, that is. Alright. I don't know which way I want to go right now. Apparently have too much range for him. Oh, it's our best friend, the homing explosives. Got him! Worth it. Bouncy shrooms got in my way. Alright. Back to full health, but no soul. I see you there. You die. Alright, this is the right end of the room where I thought about dropping down. So we only had one exit from here, and it was over here. Unless I missed a secret. Hmm. Oh. Falling. I don't think I missed anything while I was falling. stump isn't anything. This looks... yes. Suspicious. 
Oh, but it just leads up here. What's the point? A secret to nowhere. I guess I didn't have enough of those killed for the hunter. Oh! Oh! The pool it leaves hurts. Alright, got enough of those. Everything is proceeding great. Oh, pff, until I run into them. How much did I need for that map? Like 450? Or was it 150? Whatever. Next time we have a station, I'm likely to go back and get the map. seem to interact. It sure is a side room. Oh, we're here. I thought midway that through the room it might lead here. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I guess maybe I'll go to to those rooms that aren't fully explored. Or wait, no, I think I've already gone down to the very bottom with double jump. It's like a black thing and a one-way door that stopped me. Is there anything else I want in fungal wastes? Not really. Kinda wanna be up there. So I'll go left and maybe I'll hit up the bench and then climb off to the right again. Err, wrong way. No, oh, yes, this room, because of course. I'm mildly lost in here. Can I go this way? No, I think I've already tried this. Or have I? Alright, made it through that room. So, we want to proceed left first, just for the bench. I'd like to be checkpointed in case of catastrophe. And, uh, it's just over here. Wait, I don't have any, like, okay, I don't have any spare charm notches. Almost got out of that unscathed. Ooh. Alright, looking to go up. 
The only way we can go in this room. Oh, hi. I guess there are two upward exits, so... It's like a little inaccurate to say it's the only way we can go. Should probably be killing these for soul. Oh. It's, they're not really separate exits. Alright. Oh! The map cuts off here because it's a different area. I've been here before. I don't remember figuring out anything to do, but I've been here. Oh, they were just for, um... Lore entries. Alright. Um... I guess I could climb back up to the stag station. And then where? Well, I'll get the map that I need to get. And then where? Top of Crystal Peak? Seems possible. Or perhaps that room there? Isn't that where I made it with the... Swimming? Oh yeah, it leads into Fog Canyon, where I don't have the map yet. It's not a new thing to explore. Wait, where am I going? Into the spikes, of course. The ideal place to go. That's not the right way. Don't have much reason to fear what I might land on because I have acid swimming. Yeah, all this free money. Wait, that didn't attack or it didn't explode when I attacked it from behind. Maybe it just has an explosion attack that you need to watch out for. One of my largest problems is forgetting how every enemy in the game acts constantly. As usual, I blame the time between episodes. You know what? Let's use the bench in here. And go up and buy our map. Higher up. Oh, come on. See, there was a unlockable pathway around here to the right. Oh! Ah, didn't actually intend to hit that guy. Yeah, this. I guess, well, it's safe, I might as well heal. How far is it to the map? Oh. I thought I could go around that spark fly swarm. sure of where I'm going. I guess I should be looking for the discarded papers to see if I'm going the right way. Oh, like this. There's one there. Wait a minute. 
I bet he's left the area. Yeah. Sorry I missed you. Pop in the store. Should have just used the stag station while I was there. Ow. 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 <laughs> Um, I think my uh, auto counterattack betrayed me a little there. <laughs> kind of hilarious, though. <laughs> Just swimming under everything. Oh, right. Okay. Don't get betrayed by my thing. Death warping is ill-advised, because then I wouldn't have my money. Alright, and then... yeah, Crystal Peaks. I wish I knew the rules for when that guy's gonna move on. I feel like it's probably just a bunch of story triggers or something, though. I'll stop in the bank just to make sure they're not back for some reason. Even though I haven't made any story progress, so why would they? Yeah, okay. Hard landing? Back to the starting town. And then to the map shop. And then is this actually the most convenient way to get to Crystal Peaks? Or do I need to go to the Forgotten Crossroads station? Bapanada. <sighs> Hug Canyon costs 200. I think it costs 150 if you actually get it from the guy. So missing maps cost money. Oh, I missed a room up there, apparently. And over there. That is marked as a... Oh, right, that's the bank. Hmm. Perhaps... More exploration later will be merited, but um, for now, I'm most interested in just going over to Crystal Peak. Oh! I think there's this elevator over here, right? Yeah. And then you just do this. Most of the way through the room, right? Oh yeah, basically. Dun, dun, dun. Wait. Stop, 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 stop. There was something up there, and I have double jump now. Free thing. Oh, it's a king's idol. That's... 400 money? 800? I forget. You know, benches actually seem really good in this game. Let's, uh, use them regularly. Also, it's right on the way to this, which we can now climb. What surprise? Getting locked in a room with an enemy, the Crystal Guardian. That does explosion type damage. Um, I'm failing every single dodge. Ah! 
You really don't have much time to jump. Alright, well, let's go back up there. Not too difficult to get back. We will need to defeat our shade, of course. During the boss intro, because why not? Well, yeah, you really don't have much time to avoid that. However, it does only take jumping straight up to avoid it, because it doesn't last very long either. Can I possibly... No, you can't possibly heal. I mean, eventually I'll get used to dodging that move. And then the fight doesn't seem like it'll be that bad, except he does deal two damage with every single attack he has. I should charge up. I don't actually know how much more damage the charge shot does. Okay, I was at least in the air. I jumped. Uh, didn't expect him to mix both attacks together. <laughs> he landed on me. Alright. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like I should already be doing better, but he's fast. I mean, you do need double jump to be able to fight him, so, whoops. So you can give yourself more airtime against his laser if you feel you jumped early. Wow. I wonder what the prize is for this fight. My first thought was the opportunity to hit him with the dream nail and get an even harder version of the fight. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be the case, but that would be uh, not the prize I was looking for. I had some idea if I was, like, getting remotely close to winning. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, hey, we got him. Um, I was gonna say, um, the after attack delay almost cut takes too long to, um, be able to jump and dodge the laser. I must have gotten really close a number of times, considering how short the winning run was. I wonder if. How much do I edit out? I guess I can figure it out later. Alright, there's still more to explore around here. Have a few more minutes, and it's not far to go. And maybe we'll find out one of them is a, um, a dark barrier. Let's see, he's still up. That is double jump required. Oh! Miners with laser beams. But they get interrupted when I hit them. Yeah, this is actually a pretty big room. Probably a dream route around here. 
But for now, I'm just inclined to explore this exit. Got him. Ah! But his beam only deals one. Yeah, so far I'm not too intimidated by these enemies. I, mean, I think they are pretty old enemies, mostly, besides the laser beam men. We did backtrack, but it does require double jump, so it's not really backtracking in my view. Uh, okay, there's actually a path to the left. I wasn't sure with how dim it was. Okay, I have to actually move away from them for them to retract the spikes. Oh, this is exciting. Hmm. Uh, could maybe dash from here? Oh, there's not a path to the side. Oh yeah, you don't want to keep your hyper dash going. What is up? Helena's crown. This might be reacting to the king's thing I have. Ooh, inspect. Pail ore? I can upgrade my nail again, assuming I have the money. I'm kind of inclined to j jump off to the left, but I want to explore to the right end of the town first. Or, why am I calling it a town? I don't know, it feels like a dead town. Alright, I don't think I'm getting over that. Or maybe I should super dash instead of just jumping off. We're mysteriously here. Um, I mean, I kind of want to explore more in the room that was to the right, but also I should probably save and quit. Also, hitting up the bench will, um... Wait, am I too low now? No, perfect. Hitting up the bench will give me the shape of the room. Oh, there was an up exit and a bottom right exit. So yeah, I should definitely go up there more next time. But uh, that's going to be it for this part. See ya!